Hey guys, it's Dusty Baker with Cross Timbers Bison. It's that time of the year. It's our fall handling. It's the first time we're gonna work Big Joe and the ladies. So we're uh, gonna get that started here just a little bit. We've gotta round them up and bring in the herd. Big Joe and the two ladies are already in a small pen, but now it's time to get them worked up and get them in the pens. And then it goes from a bigger pen to a smaller pen into the tub here and then a squeeze chute into our new head gate that i just put on then uh, we'll get them worked Thank you. 
All right, guys, well, that's it. Crazy time. Anytime you work bison, it can get a little dicey. Number one thing, nobody got hurt and no bison got hurt. So those are the two main things. Every time that you work bison, one, that no person, human, gets hurt, and that two, none of the bison are overstressed or get injured. Those are two of the most important things. Couple of things I'm a little uh, upset about. It's not, um, uh, let me start with the negatives first. One, uh, we couldn't get Big Joe turned around. Uh, just couldn't get him turned around. He did the same thing at Enid, Oklahoma from his original home to get on a trailer. If you've watched that video, it took us maybe an hour and a half to finally get him turned around. You gotta poke him a little bit and push him and we finally got him turned around. But. The other uh, bad part, I couldn't get Bell Star and I couldn't get Dakota up. Dakota was the one I had sick a couple years ago. She's my most skittish bison out of all of them. And uh, I tried with the ATV and couldn't get them rounded up at all to force them into it. But they wouldn't come in the kraus, wanted to eat. And this happens anytime you work bison. And, and the problem is, is we would typically use this area down here where Big Joe and, his lady, and the ladies are but we can't uh, because they're in there and we don't want to get the two bulls together. So we didn't get Bell Star worked. We didn't get Dakota worked. And Joe, we didn't get him worked either. I didn't even get to see how much he weighed. I know this sucks, guys. A lot of you are asking me, how big is he? How much does he weigh? Well, unfortunately, we didn't get to weigh him. I was pretty disappointed about that. We tried to, to poke him for about, I don't know, 30 or 45 minutes and we got nowhere. So... He was not going through the alley system to the tub and then the squeeze chute. He was not going for it. So we scratched it. Um, one thing I needed is a hot shot. I know a lot of you are probably like, why do that? Why do that? But yeah, sometimes, guys, you got to poke these animals. They're very stubborn. They're ornery. Um, even though they're beautiful and majestic and all those great things about them, they can be very hard-headed sometimes. So, so that was unfortunate that uh, we didn't get Big Joe in. So we're going to try again in a couple of days. 
Uh, we may do, make a couple of different adjustments, but that is the downfall of Big Joe and Flo and Kit, the three new ones, is they've never been handled before. Uh, when, and when I say that, they've never been through a squeeze chute. They've never been through any of that before. So uh, it was a first time for them. Now, Kit, she went right through and we worked her. Flo, our calm new cow, she we had to poke her a little bit and she finally went through and we got her vaccinated. But uh, Big Joe, no, we couldn't. He would not go for it. And so we'll have to try to work him again in a couple of days. We may have to do some safeguard cubes, which is what they did at their uh, original home. They did safeguard pellets, uh, which contain wormer. And uh, we'll, we may have to do that. But we really want to really want to get that guy worked. I really wanted to get Big Joe on the scales to see how much he weighed and how big he really was. And I know you guys want to know too as well. Eleanor sneaking up here to get some feed. And Eleanor was the first one that we worked and she just went right through. That's a good thing about her is she's been worked several times, been handled. She just went right through it, no problem. We've got to wait till Bell Star and Dakota come up here and we'll catch them in the corral here at some point. I don't know when, but they're gonna come up here. They wanna check their calves after everything has settled down now. And then we'll try to catch them then and then run them through the squeeze chute and get them vaccinated as well. So, well, guys, that's it for today. Well, guys, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for following Raising Bison, channel about raising bison, guys. This is fun. And I, I love putting these guys on film because there's no animal like them. We're lucky to have these animals as some of you may know, and if you don't, we almost lost these animals in the late 1800s. And today I get to raise these animals and just very thankful. I also want to thank Daniel from Arms Family Homestead. And I want to thank my wife and I want to thank Kevin for their help today. And uh, I think we probably could have used one or two more bodies. See, the thing about working bison is they only see one or two people maybe during the week, maybe one or two people. And if you get too many people, they know something's up. These are smart, smart animals. And so we try not to get too many people, especially if you ever get people that are not around the bison. It could be very dangerous and tricky. But I want to thank them for their help today. And uh, every time you work these animals, we learn something new. We do like the new head gate and it worked, went really well, much better than last time. And so I'm very thankful about that. We've got to get this guy here. You know, you got really good looks, but you're hard headed, that's for sure. So we've got to get Big Joe worked and get him taken care of. Other than that, we've got to get uh, the three worked and get them uh, taken care of. But see, we can all do that now because we have a system set up for that. And so. We'll get them taken care of and get those calves through the weaning process. We'll have to supplement, feed them, and put them on some hay. Or get them, well, we're going to get them on some supplement feed and get them some hay, and they'll be good to go. Get some weight on them, let them grow. But thank you guys for watching. If you haven't, subscribed to us, okay? We're raising the American bison. There's no other animal like this on the planet. There's no other animal like this, guys. It's the American bison. Okay, hit that subscribe button, guys. You can follow us on Facebook. You can follow us on Instagram. Taking care of guys like Big Joe right here. Thank you, guys.